Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We have a tale of two stocks here with Pluralock. When I first started uh, covering the story, it was uh, very intriguing. Um, got to very quickly enjoy the appreciation in the company, some realized value uh, of, a, of an upper management team and a, and a board that uh, really was working on a phenomenal turnaround. That whole story is still intact, okay? Um, I really want to try to put this into context because where it has been a meteoric rise um, in the stock price, followed by a an equally as impressive downtrend in the company, a, a lot of the fundamentals that I think are being missed in the exacerbated, and I do believe oversold uh, situation as we speak, um, is, is left us where we are now. And it forces us to evaluate um, what, what has happened. It's happened in a very short amount of time. Um, I put my thumb on exacerbated selling based on buying, based on no fundamentals. Therefore, the conviction and the buy uh, on the way up and the meteoric uh, momentum that was affixed to the stock uh, on its upward uh, trajectory um, was probably set up uh, for this type of action. In other words, a lot of weak hands that held the stock and, and saw the stock start to really accelerate down. Um, and therefore, when people pile on to the to the downtrend, this is what's happened. You get a falling knife out of the deal. And, you know, the stock from month to month hasn't changed um, or the company. The stock has has changed significantly in, in value, seeing it go from uh, over two dollars U.S., um, to to uh, just over 60 cents as we speak at the time of this video. Um, I've been in and out of the stock, okay? Um, I try to keep up on the disclaimers for you guys, but for you guys that do know, uh, I do provide awareness and, um, and coverage for the company. Um, those disclaimers are provided in the description below. I'll have you know at the time of this video, I'm back in the stock here. Um, the sell-off is uh, too much. And I feel like we're in an oversold situation on a company that was knocking down way too many multi-million dollar contracts to be ignored. Um, I think they're finding their place in this niche. I think they have a, an attractive suite and portfolio of businesses that they offer. And I think that their talent is being extremely undervalued at this point as it was when we started um, covering the company, albeit not quite as bad at the time for a company making such impressive top end revenue and value just over 13 million when we first started covering the company. But you need to separate in your mind stock action from fundamentals. I find this all the time, and especially in the penny stock world, you know, fundamentals can be far and few between. I mean, we we can invest in a company that doesn't make any money. Pluralock is not in that camp. Um, they're they're knocking down some significant uh, top end revenue, and we're going to get more color on that shortly, uh, with earnings called just around the corner, guys. So we're going to jump in. We're going to talk a little bit through the psychology of the, the what has happened uh, over the last month, and specifically over the last five days in the stock psychology. What has gone into it? Is it all fundamental? Is none of it fundamental? Uh, or is it a healthy mix of both? Or is it none of the above? Is it just stock market investing 101 and you should probably just take a breath and calm down, evaluate your position, evaluate what it is that you should have done or didn't do uh, or want to do uh, with this company? I have not bought and hold the company. That's based on portfolio positioning. Had nothing to do with the fundamentals of Pluralock. Quite frankly, it had nothing to do with the movement in the stock. I had thought that it had run away from me specifically, and I was willing to watch it go. No problem. I was not going to chase the stock up. You know, it was going up there a couple of days, 30% a clip at a time. That's not sustainable, guys, in most cases. All right. But Pluralock still doing some great things under the scene. And um, it's going to be great to report out on this next quarter, which should be forthcoming this week. So let's jump into the chart and see what's going on and try to make some sense of what's happened over the last couple of days. When I first started covering Pluralock, I was intrigued at the story uh, and even more encouraged by the market cap of the company, which sat at around $13 million uh, for a company that was driving some pretty heavy top-end revenue. Um, furthermore, uh, the prospects of the company, uh, when I first started covering Pluralock, um, were that they were aligning quarters uh, in a way that saw their legacy business uh, improving, uh, albeit on some fairly tight margins 
uh, and looking to embolden their critical services business, which is the high margin element of their business. All the while, uh, the fundamental aspect of Pluralock being able to uh, be uh, awarded multiple multi-million dollar contracts just spoke to the niche and the service that they are looking to provide to government agencies, uh, some of the uh, Fortune uh, 1000 companies out there, um, so large companies and small companies, um, large federal government and state government agencies across the board, Pluralock was winning contracts. So when we first started covering the company, it was air apparent to me that we had a situation where it had been depressed for uh, so long that it was due for a spring to the north, and that's exactly what happened. Now, I'm not going to come onto YouTube and sugarcoat what's happened over the last just few days. This chart right here that I wanted to pull up um, on the monthly shows the meteoric run, and it was impressive. I don't think I've ever seen anything equal to it over the last month, only to see, and we'll click into the five-day chart here, uh, what has just been an unwinding that has been equally as impressive as the run-up. What does that mean for share owners? Um, I will let you know that I've entered back into the stock. I've traded out of the stock three different times uh, on its way up. I have left profit on the table, but I have made money each and every time I took profits. The last one I took profits at about a dollar and a half only to see the stock run up over two dollars a share. Thought I'd missed it, no problem. But the inherent lesson in this is that if you abide by one specific strategy in your repertoire, in other words, you looked at the fundamentals of the company and you believe that the fundamentals are sound, then holding the stock is absolutely in line with that. And I believe that you've got enough fundamentally to actually look at with Pluralock and justify that end. With, with me, uh, it was more of a portfolio type of move in that I felt like I had risk spread across a number of different holdings and took it as an opportunity to take profits, knew that the company stood a pretty good chance of continuing to go up and that I had missed the boat and I was not going to FOMO by the, the, the stock over a dollar and a half. Um, and so to my disappointment, the stock ran up after I'd sold it. I had chalked it up as a loss, no problem. I'm out. I missed out on some really good gains. Only to see this unwind and ensue over the last five days. And is it has been epic. I think a lot of the reason for this epic downtrend, of course, is the unlocking of the shares that we know are um, in anticipation of, of next week's unlocking. I think most of the lead up to the unlocking of the shares will actually be uh, a hell of a lot worse than the actual unlocking of the shares. Why do I say that? If you look at these volumes, the volumes speak to people who were buying the stock on the upswing um, and buying the stock on the upswing and stock momentum alone. Therefore, when a stock starts to melt and, and, and digress in value, the very uh, attribute that you use to purchase the stock is the very same attribute that you use to sell the stock, i.e. the stock is going down. Therefore, the momentum buyers that piled into the stock on the way up will uh, exacerbate the down uh, selling in the stock and exit the position. All the while, really never looking at the company, maybe getting some excitement and looking at, you know, the wave tops as to what Pluralock brings to the table, enough to justify them taking a position in the company. But I think for the most part, this speaks to an overbought situation followed by an extremely oversold situation. Will the stock continue to digress? I have no idea. I entered back into the stock based on the fundamentals of the company. And like I said, this will be the fourth time that I've entered back in. Uh, my cost basis was $0.65 cents entering back into the name. Um, so I'm down a little bit in the name, actually, since I entered into the stock. And I, I'm prepared to take 
uh, the stock into some deeper water because fundamentally I think that the stock is not reflective of the undercurrent of good things that's happening within the company. And that is a fairly high conviction amongst the upper management, a fairly high conviction across their board of directors, as well as a continued ability to win contracts that I spoke of at the top of reviewing the charts. Those don't go away, okay? Those multi-million dollar contracts do not go away based on the stock action, okay? In other words, the stock doesn't go down and companies start to renege on contracts that are signed and in place. All they want from Pluralock is the good service that they provide, whether it be on their hardware side or in their critical, critical services lines of business. So I, I'm interested to see what is going to transpire on their earnings call. And I would encourage all investors to take a look under the hood here and see what they could potentially report here. I'm expecting some good news. And I do not want to be presumptuous for this company. Um, they don't pay me to come and provide conjecture uh, on, on a, a social media audience to get people excited about an earnings call that is supposed to blow everything out of the water. What I would invite you to do is go look at the last couple of calls Look at the last year's uh, earnings and how it shaped up going into 2024 and, and look at what we are setting up to report. And I would be surprised if they didn't su uh, surprise to the upside and leave a lot of people who have exited the stock based on stock momentum in the dust because the fundamentals of the company are actually sound. Guys, thank you for reviewing the chart with me. We'll kick back and we'll conclude the video. All right, so we've come out of the stock action here in Pluralock. Uh, if you've been on the ride, on the way up, and the and the ride back down, that's the name of the game, okay? For you guys that uh, have been living on the moon and have unfair expectations of the microcap space, um, stocks go up and stocks go down. Oh, that sounds awful familiar. It sounds like the stock market in general. Just make sure that you are prepared to play the game before you play the game. It's that simple, okay? If you had conviction in the company to buy it on the extreme, frantic, FOMO buying that was happening, well, then you must love the stock right here at 61 cents. Some of you guys have made some posts to suggest that you're going to wait till it falls below 50 50% 50 or 50 cents. Great. I, I hope you can get that and, and you're able to catch that falling knife at the bottom. My conviction uh, leads me to believe that, that I'm investing in a cybersecurity company that is led uh, by, by some phenomenal upper management and and they're knocking down some top end revenue. I, and I think some at some point uh, that's going to be realized on the bottom line for the company. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in for the entirety of the video. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Let me know what you're doing with your position. I'm curious to know, you know, who held true, who, who sold some stock and took some profit. Um, no right or wrong answers here, but uh, leave your comments for me. We'll strike up a dialogue. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And thank you so much for tuning in for the entire video. Good luck in your investment future.